Okay, so welcome to the another video guys. In this particular video, I'm going to show you how you can host Next.js application on uh, server with the Nginx, right? So uh, for this, you need to have server first and uh, without wasting time, let's get started. So for me, I am using the uh, server from the DigitalOcean that I have already created as you can see right here. This is my IP address. But in your case, you can use anything like AWS, Linode, DigitalOcean, whatever, right? So let's copy the IP address, open the terminal and do SSH root at IP address and enter the password and that should give you login to the server. So first thing first we need to do is apt update on the server and then apt upgrade on the server. So this is to make sure that our packages that we are using on the server, it is updated and all the packages version is on the latest okay uh, first thing first uh, hence we are using the node application or next.js application we should have node installed so we can just install the one version of the node which is latest version 21.26.2 i guess or we can just install the nvm also so that in case your version of the node uh, for the next.js is 16 or 18 or something like that then you will be able to install that uh, version correctly right so command is this one so first we need to enter this particular command don't worry all of the commands will be given in the blog or description so you can find there but don't rush to go it first see what is happening because it might be possible that i'm covering something here which is not i have covered in the blog right so this is the command to install nvm on the system for me i have already installed so once the installation is done what you can do is source dot bash and rc and then you can do nvm dash h and that should show something like this okay to install nvm's low uh, node's latest version you can do nvm install node and that should install the latest version right for me it's already there so it will just give me already existed in your case if your version is different then you can just add something like 16.2.2.3 or something like that and nvm will install that version right so that being said let's do node uh, dash v and as you can see my version is 21.6.2 right here okay so we have node setup next we need to get the website files for the next.js so for you i have already created the next.js sample website on my github you can just clone using this particular url so in this particular command what i am doing right here let me just explain okay let me just make sure it is recording so i'm just git cloning the repository and putting in the slash var slash w sample next.js okay so let's hit enter and as you can see it is saying done so let's go copy this path and cd into that this particular path right here and if you do ls as you can see the sample is there so if i do sample sample and if i do ls as you can see i can see the next.js file is here next thing we need to do is we need to install the packages so let's do npm install right here and uh, i don't have necessarily some fancy website created it's just a basic website so it shouldn't take too much time okay so as you can see all packages are have been downloaded so once that is done you can do ls and uh, as you can see we have the node models folder right here next thing we need you know, to do is npm uh, run build okay so this should build the our next.js project and put in the directory uh, called build in the same directory okay so let's give some time and let's wait until the build process is complete so as you can see the build process is complete and if i do ls right here as you can see i will be able to see sorry if i do ll i will be able to see dot next folder it might be possible that in your case ll command is not working do ls dash all so that should be showing the dot next folder so this is just a folder where the all of the files of the build are placed okay Okay, so once that is done, what we can do is we need to install the one package called pm2 globally. So for that command is npm install dash g pm2. Okay, so let me just make my terminal a little bit bigger. Uh, that should install the pm2 on the global level. So what is a pm2? pm2 is basically package which will be uh, used in order to serve the uh, our build website, right? So the command is basically, let me just clear everything from the screen. The command is this one pm2 start npm name sample start so this is my project name actually the sample name is my project name in your case if you don't know what is your project name what you can do is you can just nano uh, i think configs files let me just do ls nano uh, package.json file okay package.json 
package.json file and here you will find the name of the project right in my case my name is sample so if i hit enter so as you can see it is starting the pm2 service uh, on the port 3000 okay so if i go in here copy my ip address and uh, enter in the browser uh, as you can see i am able to see the website so that's uh, really great news now we need to deploy the website properly so we will do pm to kill okay so pm to kill all or kill i am not sure okay i think pm to ls yeah that's what uh, we need to do so everything is done uh, let's create the configuration file uh, for the nginx first right so you know that uh, port is on the 3000 right the website is listening on the 3000 right using pm to if we start so what we need to do is we need to make sure that we have installed nginx so first so first thing let's do cd ls then sudo apt install uh, nginx right and that should install nginx for me already installed so it should so already install then we need to do in cd into the etc uh, nginx sites 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 available and there is a file called default that configuration we need to add so do nano and default and inside that you will find configuration something like this exactly same configuration you need to add we will be creating reverse proxy and this is the 3000 port right so let's control s and exit so this is exactly from configuration you need to add okay in, in your case the default configuration might look something like uh, this right but delete that file and create configuration like this okay save it and do sudo nginx tag t and you should get test is successful something like this that means your configuration is valid then do service uh, nginx uh, sorry 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 what is this nginx right and restart okay that should restart the nginx service okay so one last thing we are not doing which is uh, starting the pm2 so first thing we need to do is we need to go to the cd slash in the directory where the our project is which is slash ww slash uh, i think the sample so this is the project right here so if i do ls this is my next.js project and i need to start the uh, service right here so npm tag uh, tag sample start okay so that should start the pm2 and now if you go in the browser let's open um, browser right here and if you remove this port 3000 also and if you hit enter you will be see the website right here okay great what if you want to host the website on let's say domain name or something so in that case you should have the uh, dns access so right now i have the dns access for me so i will just create one other subdomain right here for next.js website so i will type next right here and add this particular ip address in front of it and save it right and i will just remove this react one because this belongs to the previous tutorial okay now in the browser if i do next dot one yd dot in it should show me the website next.js website yeah so this is how you can host the next.js app using nginx right so that's all for this video and right now right now here i'm getting this https because i'm using cloudflare and it adds https by default but in your case if it is not adding then you might need to set up the ssl in the nginx using certbot okay so for if you need that information you can just ask to uh, me in the chat box or you can just do a little bit of google search you will find it anyway right so yeah that's all about this one and if you have any doubts do let me know and thanks for watching this one see you in the next